So the big picture for this lesson is finding the perimeter and or area of different shapes in the coordinate plane. This is an extension of the work you've been doing in the last two lessons. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to find side lengths of the different shapes and then if you're finding the perimeter you just go ahead and add those like you can see here. Um, AB is found to equal 5 using the Pythagorean theorem. BC is about 6.7. AC is about 6.3. So then you add all those, find the sum, to get the perimeter of triangle ABC, and that works out to be 18.0. And important point there, it's not exactly 18, it's rounded, so it's 18.0. Okay, so that's the perimeter. Now let's look at finding the area. So to find the area, you need to find the altitude of the triangle, and you want to find one that's easy to calculate. Since the slope of segment BC is 2, the slope of the altitude for that side would be negative one-half, so that's actually a pretty easy slope to work with. That's why this one was chosen. So then draw the altitude here. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of segment BC, and then to find the length of segment AD. And once you have those distances, you can put them in the area formula and calculate the area. So notice that both the distances were left in radical form this time, and when you put them in the triangle area formula and multiply it all out, you get an integer answer of 15. If you have a quadrilateral, you need to classify it first before you can figure out how to calculate the area. So in this case, both pairs of opposite sides are found to be parallel, and then it's classified as a parallelogram. So then you can just find the base length and then the height and multiply those, and then you can get your area that way. And this one worked out to be exactly 20. So that's what you're going to be doing in this lesson, finding the perimeter and area of different polygons in the coordinate grid. That's the big picture.